Right, hi guys. In this video, I'm going to be power testing the RM KL203P. Now, I believe there's a KL203 that's not got the preamp in it. I believe that the P just sort of says it's the preamp version. Now, I'm going to be running the FT450D at 5 watts. I've got the uh, Sharman SWR006 uh, SWR power meter with an MFJ 300 watt dummy load screwed directly onto the back via a, a male male connector that just rolls out a patch lead. And there it is, the KL203P. I'm not going to say nothing at this point, but I will say at one point in the video I'll show you how quickly these things warm up. A lot of amps warm up pretty quick, but the smaller ones I found a little bit more so because the heat sink is so small. Now if you look at the size of my hand, it's a bit difficult because it's all wired in. You get the rough idea. I don't know what I can compare it to, maybe just a bit bigger than a cigarette case I suppose. Alright, let's get the amp on and we'll do a little bit of power testing. So let's turn on the power supply. Turn on the amp. Okay, we've got the red light on. Now, this is the meter that I'm uh, going to be doing the testing on. It's on the 200 watt setting. So we're going to be reading, you've got the 5 watts scale, the 20 watt scale and the 200 watt scale. Now we're going to be measuring on the 200 watt scale. So uh, 5 watts in. see what it does. That's the best part of 80 watts which is not too bad. Just up the power on the uh, 450 to 10 watts. That's a good 100 watts. And these are quite cheap amplifiers. Now something I will say, amplifiers on the CB band are illegal. If you're using them on the uh, amateur band, you're good to go, providing you've got the appropriate license. Now if you're going to be using any of these uh, solid state amps, for any length of time, particularly if you're going to be using them on AM, FM, I believe this amplifier, the maximum input is 10 watts. Now I would always drop that down a little bit to 8 watts, for argument's sake. Rather than throttling the thing to, to the death, having it running right on the ragged edge, just give it a little bit of uh, breathing space, because the extra few watts that it produces won't make a lot of difference. The other thing is, if you can get some sort of fan on it, you can get these little computer fans there's loads of videos about that there's no fan on this one I've never used this one this is purely for uh, testing purposes so let's just uh, run that again now we're at 10 watts input again Good 100 watts, so I'll go down to 5 watts again. In actual fact, I'll go to 8 watts. There's about 90 watts. 7 watts input. Eighty five ish. 6 watts input. So you've got 50, 60, 70, to be honest, 6 watts in 
it's more than ample that way you're not overdriving the amplifier you're not right on that ragged edge a lot of these type amplifiers have been blown up in the past people overdrive and I'm not really sure what the output of their rig is they're just thinking well I think it's about 20 watts the rig may have been tweaked or or, or whatever so uh, to give these things a little bit of sort of longevity if you like fan on the top or a desk fan around just good air circulation the other thing is the the power lead on this one it's quite short I'll try and show you that from the no it's not an ideal angle comes out the back here straight into the back of the uh, power supply and it's not just wrapped around the post there is uh, crimped on eyelets I'm not the, I've got this second hand to be fair I know the guy had only had it for a matter of a week or more it's virtually unused so I'm going to stick my neck out here and presume that they come with short power leads. Now if you think right I'll need to extend them. If you're going to any length put a real hefty uh, power cord on it. Because a lot of people they think right it's, just, it's the same gauge wire I'll run it three metres into my engine compartment and do it all night. beef up your cables fellas otherwise your audio if you use an SSB may sort of turn a little bit on the uh, ragged side it's a very simple little amplifier there's not really a lot to say about it but there's a good healthy output with something that's so cheap they're around, they're around about 50 60 pound mark uh, on eBay they may have gone up uh, very slightly that's the end of this part of the video the next bit is going to be showing you the heat build up okay this is a little demonstration of how the heat builds up on these the amplifier when I first started was stone cold you've seen it as I've done it now I've got myself this little temperature gun that works by laser now if I just switch it on you'll see the laser on the wall 20 degrees the table's 20 degrees uh, see if I can get my hand in it 33 degrees my hand there's the laser now if you look on the amp 20 degrees of table 23 degrees there's already heat building up there see that 24 degrees so let's see if we can't I'll just key up now there you go you can see the heat starting to build after a matter of seconds now if you're on one of these and you're chatting regular on AM FM particularly if you're driving it hard on that key up that was six, six watts in now bearing in mind it's into a dummy load is a perfect SWR for it to uh, be happy with heat can be a little bit of an issue hey ho I think they're a good little amp not my amp of choice I always tend to go for something bigger something like that that's a bit beefier as you can see that's quite a, a weighty tool a very good tool as well I may add uh, it's a KL400 I will be power testing that very shortly but first I've got to crimp on some eyelets onto the back so look out for that video and the video of the uh, Zotagi B300P if you like this sort of video and find it handy 
don't be shy in asking any questions hit subscribe that way you'll get to see the whole uh, my whole channel there's over 200 videos on there now sort of other amps that I've tested CB radios I've tested on air stuff you know if you subscribe you get to see all that 